Lightning! Yay! Lightning! Okay, guys, we're in for a treat today because it is booming outside. E is not the inventory. <laughs> ah, I was playing Minecraft, okay? Yesterday, I played Minecraft with my dear, beloved siblings, and you want to know what they did to me? They... This is rough, okay? I feel really, like... I'm not sure how I feel about this, okay? They woke me up. Probably at around 10 or 11 o'clock last night. In the middle of the night. And told me to get up and play Minecraft with them. My two younger siblings, who practically control the house at this point, told me to get up and play Minecraft with them. So, of course, I did. Because I was like, well, fine. I guess I have to do what you want. Because <sighs> I'm so used to doing what everyone wants because of the stupid game. Because Fletch makes me do what she wants her father to have done. Or what she wants. She, yeah. she wants to relive her father's dreams or something like that through me. Alright? So I feel like I'm very controlled in this game. And it affects my real... No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I asked them to... I, I told them I wanted to play Minecraft with them last night. and they're, But I, I have a strict bedtime. For me, I set a strict bedtime for myself because it's healthy to do that, and that's why your parents do it for you. Yeah. I have no idea how old you are on the other side of that camera. I have no idea if I just said that to an 80-year-old guy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it makes me laugh thinking about it. <laughs> oh, my lord. That's fine. That's fine. Hi, Fletch. What do you want? You've been working hard, and I'll tell you what hasn't gone unnoticed. Oh, new mining license? Uh, hunting license. There is a new hunting license. There is a new hunting license? Uh, e is not the inventory. Um, I asked them to wake me up. Uh, that way I get some sleep before we play, and then some sleep after. Because we ended up playing from like 11 to 1 last night. I can't do this if with you and the button E. E is not the button. Mm -mm. Um. Yeah, basically, I asked them to wake me up um, when they were done showering and eating and and whatever other shenanigans they were doing. I don't know. Um. And then I played Minecraft with them. It's fine. It's fine. It's not like they're toddlers or something. They're like around my age. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not talking about baby children here. I'm talking about my siblings who are around the same age as me. Do you know how old I am? Do you know? Do you have any idea? I don't think you do because I have never told you. And I'm The button E is not my friend. That is going to be the title of this episode. Do not press E and Dinkum. It is the worst decision you could have ever made in your entire life. Why'd you do it? Ah, no. I just did it. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. Soon I'll be playing Terraria whenever that update comes out for Terraria. And then I'll have Tab, Q, and E to cycle through, and it'll be even more hectic. And it's fine. I give off a lot of angsty energy, don't I? Not that I intend to. I'm just trying to make the content funny. And I guess funny to me is the, like overly dramatic person having a midlife crisis about everything? I don't know. I just like the word midlife crisis. I don't know if I used it correctly there. I don't know. I'm not in midlife. I don't know what a crisis is. Um. Midlife. Technically, we're always at the end of our lives. Hmm? Hmm? Because. 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 Yeah? 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 Mm hmm. I'm smart. I went to school. <gasps> My favorite little buggy. <gasps> He's so beautiful. I love you. Give. I will put you in a museum and I will take care of you. And I will put you in a museum and I will put you in a museum. Waterflower. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's probably not E. No, don't do it. 
Uh, Theodore, I have a gift for you. Um, is anyone visiting my island? I have to go check because it doesn't tell me when I log in. Which is really annoying. Bye oh. bye. Rhinoceros Speedo, yay! Where is it? Is it over here? Ah, the spider, okay. For some reason, I don't like that spider. Like, I'm not. I'm not typically scared of spiders. Even though I almost drank one at one point, but it's fine. But that spider creeps me out a bit. I've never... Why am I creeped out by that spider? Maybe it's just that the legs come up and over and down a bit more than I'm used to seeing? I don't know. Hold on. Sorry, dear. We had an issue with the automatic transmission. No, I don't think I like that. <sighs> okay. Beetle, hi. Hello there, I'm Beetle. I have come from the very long journey and I have now arrived here. Speaking of here, where am I? Oh, sorry, you're in a museum. I don't know. Uh, bye. What did you murder, man? Actually, you know what? You have my permission to murder whatever you want. You're a dog. You're fine. I don't know what you sell for. You are really ugly with your yellow butt. I don't. I don't know. It looks like it looks like a like a dumb little like you know, those little like kid floaties that you put on their arms and stuff, so they float. You know. It reminds me of that. It's just the guy put it on his butt, and I don't know. I don't get that. Some weird psychopath move, I guess. Buy sugar cane. Woo woo. Hi, Rain. Oh, what do you want me to do? I want you to move into my town. I really actually quite like you. You're probably my favorite person here. Cooked cactus fig. Absolutely. I grow those in my own front yard. Of course I can do that. Of course. Maybe you have to get out of debt before they'll decide to move in. In which case it would be bad, so you know. Because I am in a lot of debt. Because I built a mine. And I haven't been able to stack up much money since I built the mine. Because it requires so much money. So much money from me. We're still in so much debt, guys. You have 10,000. It's fine. Strip me of my money. <laughs> oh, it hurts. Okay. You really found cooked cactus fig? Yeah, I did. We'll see if that helps. I don't know if it will or not. What'd you give me, Rain? It's in blue jeans. <gasps> not only for Barry. Who's Barry? Who's Barry? I don't know who Barry is. I don't know who Barry is. Blue jeans. You know what? That actually might go really nice with my current outfit. Yes! Okay. I like this, even though I rarely ever wear blue jeans. Oh, I did wear my blue jeans. My ancient blue jeans. I wore them like two days ago. And they're so comfortable. They are so much more comfortable than my newer jeans. They're bootcut jeans that I've had for ages, years. I, I sh should have outgrown them, but I didn't because I'm tiny. Um... Not. I'm talking about height wise. Um, because I'm like 5'2 or something. Yeah, 5'2. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I accidentally say 5'4, but I'm not. I'm 5'2, and I need to remember that because. <sighs> because I tell people that incorrectly, and then they're. And then I feel sad when I have to tell them, hey, I'm actually shorter than I told you. So. Yeah, no! Hey, is this another thing for uh, my friend? By the way, this is gonna be a lot of me just doing random sh stuff. Oh, 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 right, right. So I wanna make those iron tools. I think I can make iron tools. And I wanna make the bee nest, the bee nest. I wanna make the bee nest. <gasps> Why haven't I done that yet? Yeah. Sorry, right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't mean to bump you. I just have hair in my mouth. The hair 
is a just a character of this channel at this point. Ooh, I breathed in air and it was weird. Why am I breathing weird air in? Who's exhaling weird air in this family? I don't know. Blue muscle. Yay, blue muscle. How many blue muscles does it take to recreate a human but blue? That's what I want to know. That is the question of the day, isn't it? I want to know if there's anything out here. Is there anyone who can help me find a stupid fish? Because I need a stupid fish to live and not to die. I need a stupid little fish. It's not stupid though. Fish are not stupid, guys. They have a brain too, but they just don't know how to use it as well as we do. It's fine. It doesn't make them stupid, it just makes them stupider than us. Which is pretty stupid. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying. I'm trying to eat this food in the ocean. The ocean sucks, man. Ooh, treasure! It's a treasure! I'm a moron. It's fine. Cricket? Or are you a grasshopper? Because sometimes there's brown crickets and sometimes there's grasshoppers. Or, I mean, sometimes it's crickets. No. That's a grasshopper. This is a cricket, I think. Give it to me! Yeah, okay. So, a lesson for those who don't know their... thing, okay? This game is incorrect. It calls this thing a black cricket. This is a cricket. This is a normal cricket. This is what crickets look like. Crickets are black, usually. Usually they're black. Sometimes they're a little browner, but they're black, for the most part. This says cricket. It says so small, so loud. No, this one is a grasshopper. Because, hold on, let me, let me hold them side by side for you, so I can educate you. Okay? Look at this. You see those back legs, how they arch like this, and the meat on them? And you see that face? That face, it's, this is a grasshopper otherwise known as locust now you can now crickets and locusts look very similar don't get me wrong but the main difference is in their butts okay a cricket's butt is round it's a, it's a, it's like a it's like a little finger sort of thing but it has no like nail on it you know and it's got little pores and stuff in it a cricket's butt is different depending on its gender. A cricket's butt either has one or two prongs on it. One small prong is a boy cricket. Two large prongs with like a little like almost oval thing on the end of them, that's a girl cricket, okay? This is a cricket. Crickets are much smaller than grasshoppers. Most of the time, like an adult grasshopper is way bigger than any adult cricket you'll ever see. Crickets are normally black, yes, okay? And this cricket you can see, look at those back legs. You don't really see much of a back leg on that thing. You don't want to eat the back leg of that thing if you're starving. It's not going to give you anything. Always eat the grasshopper over the cricket. It's just better for you. Also, another lesson. Grasshoppers are out in the middle of the day. Crickets really do only come out at night, okay? But grasshoppers are out all the time, especially in the mornings. And especially in the middle of the day. And especially in the afternoons. Crickets are out in dusk and middle of the night sort of thing. Um, maybe not the middle of the night, but close in the... And it's, it's whatever. And also early mornings. They're never, ever... Like, if I see one in the middle of the day, it's because I woke it up out of its nap, okay? Now. Cricket. Grasshopper. Mm -hmm. I really studied my insects when I was younger, okay? I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. And if I'm wrong, then it's fine. Um, I'm okay to be wrong. I'm, I have no... <laughs> I have no... Like, all of the knowledge that I'm imparting to you could be incredibly wrong, but like... I had to write... Okay, when I was young, I had to write a paragraph about the differences between crickets and grasshoppers, guys. 
for my science class when I was in like fifth grade or something. And uh, so yeah, and I just I just know I just know for a fact now that that is true. Right? Yeah. That's fine. I'm good. I'm good, guys. I'm good. I promise. I don't know. Why do I still have this? I'm sorry. I'm really trying, guys. Sometimes my hiccups get in the way of me speaking. And it creates really awkward moments. And I'm really sorry that you guys have to experience this. I just can't do anything about it, guys. I don't know how to make my hiccups go away. Every time I start to film, I decide to go into ultra high hiccup mode. Maybe it's because I'm talking more than I ever get to because most of the time I'm either listening to other people talk or I'm outside of my room in the vast open world beyond my room and I'm talking to someone else. But I don't really get to talk for as long as I get to talk here. Like, I never talk for straight hour at a time, right? In this hyper crazy mode of being like, hey, yeah. So, you did this to me, guys. Not really. I did this to myself because I like talking to myself to death. And I like talking other people to death, okay? And I can talk forever because I am really good at talking, apparently. Not technically good at talking. I'm not technically good at talking. Technically, I suck at talking. But you get what you get. And you get me, who can't speak a single word in English without having a seizure. So, you're welcome. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I was up till, what, one in the... Was I up till one in the morning? I was up till one in the morning last night. I don't... I should never, ever do that again. Don't ever stay up till 1 o'clock in the morning, guys. I didn't realize it was 1 o'clock in the morning when I realized it, but I realized it... Stop it. I realized it... The next morning. This morning. I realized it when I had to get out of bed at 7 in the morning, and I couldn't, and I fell back asleep, and then got up at 8.30. No, I'm trying. I'm so... My brain, no. I was trying, so I just thought that mailbox was the chest that I put my water can in, and I was. No! Stop. Have have a cactus fig. Honestly, you deserve to treat yourself better, better than this. It's fine. I don't know what I'm doing. I sort of know what I'm doing. No, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm better off just saying I don't know what I'm doing. It's, ooh, you're a pretty grasshopper. I don't know that I've seen you in America. Meadow Caddy did. Oh, it's a cat. Wait. That's not what I... Caddy uh, did? No. Caddy just don't look like that, do they? That looks like a so that remi that looks like grasshoppers, like some coloration of grasshoppers. Caddy dids are green, but they're like all green, and the shape of their body is like way different from grasshoppers. They have like a fin shape to their body, and it kind of comes up like this or something. So if I do, uh, if I do this, this is their like. So remember how I told you to look at cricket butts? So there's head, thorax, abdomen. Their abdomen is like this shape, but like curved up like this. And then their leg, so think of this in my hand still. Their leg comes like that sort of. So their butt's like sticking up in the air. Um, so that's not what a candidate looks like. They just reskinned grasshopper. I want to see what this looks like again. I have, to, I have to have a proper look at this. You know what? I take it back. It's not fully a reskinned grasshopper. That does somewhat look like a cat he did. They're not wrong. I do think the torso is. I do. I do still think the abdomen is wrong. But now that I'm looking at it, they have the scrawny legs, right? They got the scrawny little legs correct. So it doesn't have grasshopper meat leg and then scrawny leg. It just has scrawny and scrawny. 
the antenna look right? Yeah, it, it actually does look more like a caddy did than I originally thought. I thought they just reskinned a grasshopper. But no. Uh, they're, they're not... They did better than I thought they did. Um... But the abdomen is not shaped right. Um, I'll have to actually look it up to make sure I'm correct about that. Hi, urchin. Oh my goodness, I love this urchin. What is... It's just a spike ball. Hey, just a good little spike ball. Where's the pink thing, though? Isn't that an ocean thing? Oh, that's way back there. Well... Nope. It's, it's kind of way back there. My sea, my sea cucumber is a gorgeous as well. Barmundida. Erwin! Yay, Erwin! Okay. Let's go, um... Let's go say hi to Erwin. <gasps> this guy's gonna move in! He's gonna move in! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! The person! Yes, Erwin! You're amazing! Thank you so much! Oh, another human being to the... Not be creeped out by oh my goodness you're gonna add so much to this town i can't wait oh my goodness yes yes i'm so ex i'm i am genuinely excited for him to move in he's the person i've wanted to move in for ages now guys this is so good this is so so good yeah give me three thousand worth Baby Chuke! Okay. Okay, the name. Amber. Okay. That is the last female I have in my characters. I think. Let's see. Scarlet Pyrus Amber. Amber's evil, though. Amber is really evil. She's the evil military leader. Um, okay, uh, sorry, I should backtrack a bit. Um, I name all of my chickens in this game, and most of my animals are probably going to be named after characters that I've created for a very detailed story that I have made, not written, because I'm... I, I can't do all that work, guys. Um, so, this one's Amber. She's evil. Amber is evil. Amber is the person. Um, Geode. So they are, they are rock people, right? Just so you know, they're ro they're made of rocks, and I'm not gonna go into the whole thing about how and all that works and stuff. It's very detailed, okay? So I'm gonna spare you all that stuff. I'm just gonna say she's evil. The king of this one place that I have named. I'm I'm just not gonna throw names around to confuse you. Um. She is the leader of the military for the king of evil land, okay? She rules the military for him. And king dude is very much kind of... He's actually genuinely a little bit nicer than she is. Because she used to work for his father. Which the king's father was evil evil. So Amber's like kind of like an older person and she is super evil um and she does kind of whatever she wants because she's in charge of the military right so she gets to, she kind of just orders people to go do stuff and king dude hears about it later and it's like why'd you do that that's so horrible but he's horrible too um or he just gets upset that she doesn't do exactly what he wants um, they fight a lot because he's trying to be a little bit better, but he doesn't know that he's still evil, even though that little bit better is like, basically what his, fa his father was like, I'm going to torture everyone, including my friends and King and the new King is just like, I'm going to torture everyone except my friends, you know, that's, that's, that's a difference in mentality from generation to generation, you know, <laughs> that sounds so horrible. All right. Probably gonna need some more of these. I'm gonna make some more. Uh, did, was it palm logs I needed, actually? Oh, no, no, no. Gumwood, nails, tin sheet, spinning stuff, and cover Okay. Craft it. Let's go! Okay. Nice. Got our chicken coop. Now. 
This chicken coop is going to be a very good addition, I think, to our land. I put it in this corner here, I think. Yeah. That seemed fine. I think that's okay. There, I like that. Oh, <laughs> that's actually adorable. I really do like that. Okay, release it. Let's go! Yeah, baby chicken! <laughs> Amber, don't be evil. Please, please grow up to be a nice chicken and not an evil chicken. I would appreciate that a lot. Oh my goodness, okay. <sighs> Today's fishing. We're gonna fish again, because I need to get rid of debt. And I know I just spent like all my money on that chicken that I just accumulated over the last few days, but I'm dedicated to actually fishing and not just I'm not gonna just not go for all the little fish anymore I'm just gonna get any fish I see and if I see a big fish good but I'm not gonna count on it I'm not gonna waste my entire day looking for gold when there's silver everywhere else you know I feel like that's really pointless um, also, if you want to, you can write that down and make it into, like, a saying made by me. That'd be cool. <laughs> Guys, inflate my ego, will ya? No, don't. I don't need a bigger ego. Fishy? Nah. <laughs> oh my goodness, it almost turned around and left me again. Whee! Aww, so tiny. Now you're gonna go all the way out there, okay. We got yes, okay. Yeah, I kinda figured the little one would get it first. It's fine. We'll get you next time, buddy. We got three we got we'll have two more inventory slots after this guy. We'll see what we can do about you. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. We'll get you. Don't worry. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be good. We're gonna, we're gonna have plenty of room for you, and you'll be safe and sound in my loving... Where'd you go? Oh, here you are. I'm blind. It's fine. Blindness is a problem. It's a real issue that some people have. I'm not actually blind. But... My goodness, do I feel like it sometimes. <laughs> not literally. Oh my goodness. I don't know. That's the thing. I have no idea how people who are blind, like, I feel so much sympathy for people who are blind because, like, of all the, like, sight, smell, sound, touch, whatever things, I would want to, like, if I were to lose one, probably the last one I'd want to lose is my sight because I love seeing things. Everything, like, I'm a very visual person. I imagine things very visually. I love colors. I really love colors. And I would be so sad to forget what something looks like. Or to not, like, I don't know. Colors are just, colors are just what I, I love. And the reason I know this is because I do art. And what I like about art and drawing, I like colors and I like uh, shapes and volumes. Shapes, volumes, and colors are like the three aspects of art that I love. And, like, I couldn't imagine not seeing. I really couldn't. It's so... Like, I'm afraid of the dark, okay? And imagining being in the dark constantly, like, I know it's a child fear, okay? I know it's child fear. I am... I am scared of the dark. It's fine. I'm also scared of thunderstorms and lightning. But it's not bad during the daytime sometimes. If it's, if I'm, it's fine. When it's light out, I'm fine. Unless it, like, sh takes me by surprise and, like, boom, and I'm like, oh my goodness, and I jump, right? Then it's fine. Like, or then, then it's not fine. But, for the most part, for the most part, it's okay. Um, when I'm sleeping at night, it's bad, though. Yeah, I couldn't imagine not seeing. I really can't. A bonnie tongue? Oh, wait, what? That's what it's called. A I don't read what the fish are called anymore when I catch them. A bonnie tongue? Okay. Is that seriously what it's called, or is that just... Is that just what Australians call this type of fish? A bonnie tongue? That sounds very Australian to me. 
Bonnie tongue. <laughs> is, that you, is that really what it's called? It's cute though. I like it. It's okay. It's fine. If you pronounce it that way, it's fine. I don't know. I'm just I'm just genuinely curious if that's an Australian thing only. We're not because it sounds very Australian. Okay. Maybe that's my uneducated mind saying that, and really it doesn't, and it sounds like every other fish name in the entire world. But, from my uneducated perspective, it sounds very Australian. Maybe it's not. It, it might not be. I'm gonna, I mean, it's a fish name. But this is an Australian game, so who knows what's Australian, what isn't. It's just, it's just, it's, this game is just a ploy to figure out who knows... Australian and who doesn't? I think I'm good. I think this is plenty. I think um I think I'm ready to leave this game for now. Um, got a bunch of editing, editing to do. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this. I really I really enjoyed this. But I am quickly running out of things to talk about, and I need to get going. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and um. I thought there was something else I was going to say. No, there isn't. Bye!